Is everybody ready for a nice session? Yeah. All right. So should we do a selfie first all together? Come on. <laughs> uh, sorry for the ones they attended the previous session. Everybody, please. First, we're starting with that side. Hands, please, up. The middle. Ram in your head. <laughs> Who cares right. about that side? No, no, no. <laughs> Come on, here. Yeah. Hands up. All right, some fun, you know. This session is all about awareness. I'm pretty sure you all know the dangers in social media. Um, if you volunteered, I'm more than happy to do live live demo. Uh, be careful. Your name is going to be exposed in public. And probably thousands of people going to watch it after, but uh, uh, it's going to be all over your public profile. So I'm not going to send a virus, steal your data, no. This is another session. It's level 200. My oh, our point here is to make you aware. There is lots of dangers out there. There are many zombies out there. And I believe, Raymond's believe, we believe, if you understand the dangers, you can help us to take the message away. So I'm doing my PhD in information security. I'm spending my life around the world trying to teach awareness. And I believe I need your help because by myself, by myself, we are too little. First of all, are you in, to, in this journey to help us to make people aware and hopefully stop cybercrime? Yes. One more time, yes. yes! Come on, I thought this is America and you guys are is it yes? Powerful. Seriously? There we go. That's amazing. <laughs> All right. Who am I? My name is Erdaloskaya. Don't worry. It's, you know, I'm doing PhD, uh, working in, oh my God, you noticed my accent. Sorry for the ones who attended the previous session. Not my fault. Turkish parents, born in Germany, was living in Australia, just moved to Dubai, speak in America. This is what's coming out. I'm sorry. <laughs> and this is? Hi, I'm Raymond Convalius, so my background is much less complicated than Erdl's. I'm Dutch. Yeah, you can see, very Dutch, right? I love your blue eyes. <laughs> With a Caribbean background. Okay, well, I'm an independent trainer and consultant since 1998. That's for 1989. That's for <laughs> ages already, so still long. Um, usually I do consulting and do a little bit of training. Once upon a time, I was an author of books. That was kind of a painful experience in the beginning when I wrote Windows Vista for XP professionals. Is there anyone here who bought that book? Me? Who's the second? We're looking for the second pair. Okay, he, he has a copy. Sorry for that. Then I wrote Windows 7 for XP professionals. Turned out much better. And I quit writing books after that. Too painful. All right. Do you like free swags? Yes. What is if I promise all of you a free antivirus? which is $30, $40. I'm going to give you a serial key. All what you have to do is tweet about the session. If you don't have a Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, join us, all of you, and your friends. Don't, uh, I mean, I have 10,000 licenses to give away. So please don't, uh, I hope you are not working with a 10,000 uh, organization that you're going to deploy onto virus tomorrow. <laughs> but all of you are getting it, totally free, no string attached, one year it's yours. All right, all of you. And for the ones who are watching this session online or offline later, please go to my blog. You can just see the details there and you can also benefit from this offer. All right, warning. This presentation may contain some bad language. Nothing personal. I'm going to point at you. I'm going to speak to you. Please don't take it personal. It's not about you. It's just to have some fun. I believe you can only learn if you enjoy something. So my motto is learn with joy. Are we in? Yes. <laughs> all right. Social zombies. I think we all know what zombie means, right? Raymond, you tell me what the story is here. Yeah, it's about the living dead. And we don't know who is out there on all those social networks, but we know we all want to be in between those people. We don't know if they are real people, if they are fake people, and what we're going to do there. 
and even people, lots of people come up to me and ask me, well, should I be on a social network? Well, social networks can be dangerous. Before that, I want to say something. Uh, Microsoft asked me about, you know, you saw the expertise. My expertise area is, because I'm doing a research for the university, is you. You don't believe me? Come, we do a demo, five minutes later, okay? So, it's you because I care about you, we care about you, and we want you to be aware of the dangers. <coughs> Raymond. So, should you be on a social network? That's one of the questions that I often ask, get asked. And I say, well, I think you'd better be on a social network, but be there with a reason and be there knowing what you are planning to reveal about yourself on the, on the social network. Because social networks can be dangerous, of course. Somebody can steal your information from there if you put your information in there. You can stay away. But that might not be a wise decision, especially not if you have some kind of a higher profile. There is this chance of identity theft. Somebody can steal your identity in that social network where you don't want to be. So you're not there, somebody is there on behalf of you. If that's what you want, well, you can let somebody take your identity and go there. Otherwise, we start socializing there. We want to share our information. We want to be there. We want to be somebody. We want to, we want to have as many friends as possible, maybe. At least we want to know people around the social network. And we want to socialize. We want to network. We want to be there. I like LinkedIn, for instance, just to know all the professional networks. But nowadays, it becomes kind of a hassle when all the recruiters know my name. I get recruiters on my LinkedIn about twice a day for a new job. I'm not looking for a new job, and I have to tell them all. But being there, you have to be there, otherwise I won't get my next job. That's why I am there. Next time I'm looking for a job as an independent, I need to have this social network. So, what exactly is a social network? It's a structure made up of actors, and those actors are us. And the part that's always a problem with most of those social networks is they are free. That makes us the product. People are money, making money of our information. That's something that you always have to keep in mind. How valuable is the information that I'm giving away to the social network? Is it me providing this information to the social network or is it me providing this information to the people that I want to share some information with? And what am I planning to share with them? I want to share stuff that I won't regret. Because nowadays you can say the wrong words on a social network and you can ruin your own career. It's very, very easy. And we all want to be there because everyone is there. One in every nine people on earth uses Facebook. So if you're not there, you don't exist. That's your life. Who is not in social media? Who is not? LinkedIn? Nothing at all. Hmm, interesting. So, a guy who is alone. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, no, uh, just joking, by the way. I don't think person remember. Raymond? So we like to be there. And we're, if I look around here, we're kind of the older audience. Because Instagram and Snapchat, that's for our kids. And they want to be there. They want to be somebody. And if they are not there, they are nobody in their world. So there is a need to be there. There is a need to be somebody in the social networks. All right, let's talk about friends. Um, who is proud to have, let's be very honest, to have lots of friends in social media? Who is proud? Nobody? <laughs> okay, why do we share, who is using Instagram? Why do we share all these photos, seriously? I mean, I'm there as well. And, and to be very honest, I keep checking my profile. Oh, like, yeah, I feel, it's like, it's self-ego. makes me happy, like, you know, oh, yeah, two likes today. Isn't it true? It's so, true. but I got bad news. Many of your friends are bots. 
Uh, Instagram users, please verify me. How many clicks, how many likes you get from very strange names? No? Because you don't have Instagram? <laughs> it's locked? No, yeah. ah, locked? Okay, yeah. All right. No problem. Uh, thousands of malware delivered daily through social media. Again, I'm not going to cover this today. It's level 200. But I can show you how I can unlock a profile. Uh, and to be honest, what is your most important thing? Seriously, your family, your business, your customers? Yes, uh, all the above. All the above. So we say sharing is caring. Do we? But a German saying says, if a secret is known by two people, it's not a secret anymore. So do you get the message? They usually ask, Raymond, me, I mean, my brother-in-law just asked me, this morning, I, mean, I showed it to him. Someone is trying to hack my neighbor, blah, 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 long story, I can show it to you later. What can I do? Rule number one, you know, don't share something which can give you a headache. But how we can do that? I'm going to talk about this. But you have to remember, Mark took him back. He left the school. He is now a billionaire. How? What does... Facebook produce, or LinkedIn, or Twitter. What is the assess? You, us, we. And they make money over us. I mean, like slavery, remember? Uh, we used to have slaves, and they used to work, and uh, some people used to make money. It's very similar. They're selling our da data. <laughs> Think about it. I'm not joking. Think about it. If I'm wrong, you're adults, you're IT professionals, we are here, ignite. Think about it. I, that's why I'm here. I want you to think. I mean, I can open, create the virus, send them, hack your data. No, no, no. That's easy. For some of us, at least. <laughs> so, as technology develops, more and more people begin to connect. Isn't it, right? Look. I told you, Germany, Turkey, my cousins are in Turkey, my friends, my teachers are in Germany, I have very good friends in Australia, now I started to build friends in Dubai, but I am every year here at TechHead or Ignite, we kept becoming friends as well. I want you to follow me on Twitter, that's why I'm giving you free stuff. <laughs> so, that's to connect. It's like everything, technology can be good and bad. So how are we going to use that? I don't know, seriously. So, you want to have some fun? Here's a video for you to watch. Video to watch. Sound? It's on? In that computer? All right. Back up, I got it in my laptop here as well. No. That's which. Can you switch? Yes. What? Confirm or ignore. Hi. Dale Kearns, Brookview, class of 02. Yeah. Brookview 03. Would you like to be my friend? Sorry, who are you again? Confirm or ignore. What? Confirm or ignore. Song in this picture. LOL. Hey, Bobby. Yeah. You mind if I tell people you're my brother? Yeah, of course. You, you are my brother. This is my brother! We are related? Yes! We have to do something right now to turn him around because that can't happen. Well, I was thinking I had some ideas that we could possibly maybe launch a new... Uh, I am so bored in this business meeting. It's gone on for three hours. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. Just thinking. What are you listening to? Mmm. I like this. 
poke, poke, double poke, poke, poke. <laughs> Just looking at your pictures. Sorry. I'm sorry too. <sighs> we love cheese. We love cheese. It's the name of the group. Would you like to join my group? We love cheese. There you go. Cheese what group. What is this? Um, cheese group. Uh, what do you do? We like cheese. That's about it. Thanks. Cheese group. Hey. Hey, AJ, what's up, man? Hey, man. Hey, AJ. Hey, Ru what's, what's up? Hey, buddy, what's up? How you doing? Good to see you. Sorry, Russell. Defriended. Hey, AJ. Hoping for a good crowd this year. You got my email the other day about the results, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um. Oh, no. So, Facebook and real life, yeah. isn't it like this in your life as well? We're spending a lot of time on these social networks. The numbers speak for itself. We're, we're spending more and more time on each of those social networks. How many minutes, million minutes we stay on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Amazon, today, how many of you joined Jammer for Ignite? Show some hands. Microsoft, Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> for some it's been a new network, others have been there already. But you see, the growth is staggering. We're moving more and more information into those networks. And those networks are trying to gather more and more information from us. And um, I think the important statistic here, if you look, in every minute, there is six million Facebook views. Every minute, two million Google queries. Sorry, Bing. Uh, <laughs> hundred new LinkedIn accounts every minute. So think about what's going out out in the internet there. It's not all you and you're watching porn. <laughs> so you know this used to be the most thing, if you remember, right? Come on, we are all IT professionals. And we know that most of the traffic was porn, still porn. Uh, but this is coming, catching up quick. This year, this number should be doubled. And they assume in the next five years, it's going to be even, I don't know what byte, you know, something terrible, gigabyte, gigabyte, you know, I lost the byte count. So we share, but how much? Seriously, who's not, who's not sharing stuff on the internet, but would you share this? Uh, <laughs> tweeting bra, not joking. Every time you open the bra, it tweets. <laughs> I'm not joking. Go put it, I mean, I'm sorry, I got some females, they look bad at me, but this is a product which is on sale. I really don't know uh, what kind of husband or boyfriend has invented that. But is it not a bit too much? Or what do you think of, you know, so many embarrassing information is online. Please, think about the stuff that you see on your walls. Are they all really fun? Are they really all interesting? Ah, uh, by the way, we, especially in America, you like the Kardashians. You like Big Brother. I mean, we all do. <laughs> uh, but this is Facebook is our big brother, right? Or just, you know, I'm using Facebook, but you name the social media site. They're all similar. But what about stalkers? Burglary. It was many, many different cases that school kids wanted to kill themselves here in the United States. Cyberbullying. It's a big problem that maybe you don't have any kids around you, but you have nephews, you have friends, you have neighbors. It's a problem where we need to work all together to bring that awareness in. So I wasn't joking in the beginning saying, are you in here? I want your help to reach everybody because they are our future. I mean, 
If not, let's say you're not get married, or your, your choice, you don't want to have you know, a girlfriend, maybe you like your boyfriend, not you, Raymond. <laughs> uh, you don't want to have kids, but hey, we need someone to pay our uh, innovation when we get old, right? It's a system that we are on in. So we have to, we have to think about that. We have to be careful. And what you see is that the younger you are, the less careful you are with what you do on those networks. You see it here. People under 25 make more mistakes when they go online and tweet or Facebook about what they're doing. And we see lots of cases where people lose their jobs, lose their reputation of what, about what they do on those social networks. Here's on the slides. We're going to talk about it. Uh, but the important thing which you mentioned here is schools. I was working with an Australian school project in Australia. Okay? I went to so many schools. And my first question is, who is in Facebook? Primary school. Who is in Facebook? U5, U6. Please stand up. Half of the school is up. Now, who is 13 years and up? Uh, stand up. The rest sit down. All of them sit down. <laughs> Do you get the message? So, I mean, I let my son to play Call of Duty sometimes as well. My wife hates me for that. We all do that. Ignorance. But I'm not doing something good. But we all are not doing something good. Because we, as responsible parents, uncles, aunties, uh, moms, dads, grandma, whatever you are, it's really important. And please, 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 be very honest. Who never shared something very stupid than you regret it? I think we all did sometimes, right? So the question is, what about you? Look at this, please. How good are you in bed? <laughs> Just what I need to know about my daughter and granddaughter. I took the screenshot. <laughs> it's, we're laughing, but I got a daughter, and I hope I'm not going to take a screenshot of my daughter. I hope not. Uh, <laughs> nothing to say, you know. I don't want to say anything. Thank you very much. I took that screenshot from Twitter. Yes, I did. Or even better, I, you, you can just easily go to Google, yay, my baby's first passport. If you think it's all, I collected all this information via simple Google hacking. Bingo. Ah, bingo, sorry, bingo. <laughs> and here's the thank you. I was teaching a hacking class. Google hacking was one of the topics. I had, you know, it was a closed class. It was for government. We found out why Google many passports exports. And most of them did, did voluntarily. Uh, I received a thank you message after. Uh, I was nominated for a couple of awards, but it wasn't about that. Sometimes your data is in a different hand that you can't even control. It's you, but in someone else's hands, such as Facebook. All right, who is trying to lose weight? Not Raymond. <laughs> who is using my fitness pal, or I got Fitbit, Microsoft Band, all this, right? It's cool. I mean, we have an expert sitting there in his laptop. Uh, he's doing lots of pen testing, right, Hussein? Uh, all these apps, they look great. But if you debug, look what kinds of information they're sending out. He is watching the news. CNN is going to hate me for that. That's my second incident with CNN. Last year, I was in a conference called Hacker Halted. I paid $19 to have the CNN tour in Atlanta. And I was taking photos of unlocked computers, zooming in. And I did tweet about it. That's my second incident. They're going to hate me. Oh, this is supposed to be hidden. All right. Uh, can we switch slides, please? You want to go to your deck? Yes. Okay. You're on. This morning, I made some changes. Sorry for that. But hey, you're getting a free, uh, free swag, right? Look, don't forget to tweet about the session, please. 
And I'm serious, tweet about it. Remember, I need your help. Come on. Almost there. That's the CNN app. It's beautiful. You get the news. In return, you go your email address, IP address, and some other details, which has nothing to do with the ad. Uh, uh, app. Uh, app or <laughs> news that you want to read. Oh, no. Now we have to use this. OK. You are not hard to find online. Correct? Correct. Um, I'm, I'm going to do a shortly demo. Look, this two guy. At, I, went, I opened a fake profile. I just went in. You can see where I'm from, where I am at the moment, what I'm doing. All right, I'm aware of what I'm doing, but what about your, yourself? Who is at home at the moment? Who is watching your back? So. Please rob me. There is a service which tells it does a metadata scan. It tells everybody who is outside from their original location, which puts yourself. I mean, I hope you got a nice alarm system. Geo checking is also something that's really nice for those things. Who's using their smartphone for taking pictures? Who's using Windows Phone for that? Would oh that's only a few people. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, most surprise. of those cameras, even if it's not a Windows phone, when you take the picture, it automatically stores the picture online. And what it also does, it uses the GPS to put all the information about where you are in the picture. So it stores your picture with where you are. As soon as you're sharing those pictures, those pictures contain all the information about where you were at the time those, this picture was taken. This is very handy information, maybe for you if those are vacation pictures, but they may harm you. This may harm you. And uh, more importantly, you all take your new uh, ways or your new picture, your new house, and you say, hey, you know what? That's a beautiful picture while you're at home. Geotagging, someone can easily go to a website like that Uh, before that, let's go to my camera roll. Here we go. Okay? If you're uploading to OneDrive, oh. Sorry, you don't see it, but you're going to see it right now. That's one my drive. Almost. No, it's not. <laughs> Look, look it. I just went to OneDrive. That's the photos that I took a few seconds ago. Uh, let's press on it. That's you. Let's press on the information. I don't need to go to any special website. Hey, type JPA image. Uh, it, you know, you can see some details about the photo. Uh, I want to do something else now. Take another picture, one of the out outside. Uh, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Oops, that's the other session. Hey, look, who's here? Hassan, what have we done last night? Or where? Look, Chicago, it knows exactly where I am. And I don't know if you notice, who can see my sky drive? It's my wife. Oh, she's, you know, she wants to make sure that I'm doing good stuff. <laughs> uh, now, what if you just share this picture to Twitter? Yeah, and someone does that. Um, Go to that website, browse the image, you know, get that photo in. By the way, no, that's a wrong photo. So you can just take a photo. That's me speaking in Azerbaijan in a conference. Read the image from. Uh, you will see. All the details where this photo was taken, Azerbaijan, Baku, and all the technical details. So 
Now, back to the slide deck. What I'm trying to tell is, OK? I'm telling where I am. I'm telling uh, I'm at home. So someone can go to Twitter, take that photo, use that website, upload the photo, and know exactly where you are. So I didn't like your hat. <coughs> you yeah, know, if I want to. Because you were tagged in this photo. Just yes. an example. Tell the story about lunch yesterday. You tell, you tell. Yesterday we had lunch with a couple of people. One of them was from Syria. And he told us that pictures from pilots. He's here. He's here. Yeah. Pictures from pilots are being used by those terrorists to track ISIS. where they live. So pictures that pilots have been tweeting on Twitter were used to locate where they live. And so they were they, killed. And so they were killed. That's happening in real life today. So now, you may not be in danger, but people may know where you live, and people who you probably don't want to know where you live. What else? So, we all use these services, right? How many times Swarm uh, did say, hey, you're here? Uh, would you like to get that discount? Didn't happen to you? Or now everybody's talking about that pay, Apple Pay, Google Pay. So our location has been continuously, that's my German, sorry. What is it? Con what? Continuously, yeah, thank you. Uh, you deserve a, you're not from Netherlands, right? You deserve a waffle. <laughs> <laughs> so Instagram, you can go to Photomap, thanks to the CEO, ex-CEO. Uh, it's uh, now owned by Facebook, you know. Look at this. You can now much more easily access photos you and others took months or even years ago. So, keep calm. I'm watching you. <laughs> or, 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 or. Don't keep calm. Because it's okay if I'm watching you. But God knows. I believe only God knows who is watching you. And this is the message that I want to give you today. You want really hacking? I can open my demonstration laptop right now. I can try to trick you in with the social engineering. If you go to channel line or to my blog, I've done it many times. It's easy. But it's important to understand these messages here. Because if you understand that message and if you pass it through, then my Hacking attacks going to be a bit harder. I'm sure the gentleman there, the wolf, is going to find a different way. That's what he's doing currently now. <laughs> so, we are all connected. Connected. You can even these days connect to some uh, commercial site via Facebook. Where, you know, LinkedIn, if you apply to, even at Microsoft, your job, you can use your, you can log in as LinkedIn. We are interconnected. One mistake on one in those attack, uh, accounts will replicate itself. So, who is the biggest zombie here? <laughs> Please check in the mirror. If you don't see yourself, it's good news, you're the Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> but if you do, if you do, then collect information from Facebook. What can you do with that? You know, you can do so many stuff with it. Like, when you, who's working in a bank? Anybody from a bank? Sir, I forget my password. I call your bank. Which four questions they ask me, usually for security? Mother's name. Mother's name. My cousins are my mother's main name, right? Date of birth, address, and social number. Yeah? Where can you find all this? Maybe social network number not, but that's only unique for America, but I have some other stuff for that. Who is keen for a live demo? Who wants to see who has a house and who knows the value of the house? Nobody? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what I'm going to do is s simple web searches, okay? That's my Facebook, no. All right, seriously, just name, anybody? I'm just gonna put your name in. 
Come, I'm bad in spelling, please. Yes. Raymond, maybe you are better. Should I write down? Yeah. Dario. Ah, oh, hold on. You are not from US, right? It's going to be harder to find you. I need you Americans, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, from Seattle? St. Louis. Eh, Joel. Hold on. Just copy the name, please. Thank you for copying the name. Uh, which one is you? Really? <laughs> By the way, uh, if you want, I can stop it right now here because people are going to watch this session. <laughs> Uh, your phone numbers, are they correct, sir? Um, or did you ever use these phone numbers? Yeah, one time, but not anymore. The address? Yeah. And, you know, how scary it is. I mean, I can, we can spend some more time and uh, let's, let's get the name again and use it in a... Are you still happy for me to continue? <laughs> Paste. Uh, are you from which one? First one again? Oh my god, that's too good. <laughs> uh, let's go for look. I'm doing a free search, okay? Uh, you can just pay and get the full. Anyway, this is taking some time. Why is the internet slow? So I think you got the message. While this is doing that, I'm going to copy and do start the search and all others. Age and I'm 40s. Hey, you look young, man. <laughs> and you are from Ventsville. Yep. And if I really, really want, I can, go, I can get most of your details about you. And guess what? Why did I ask for American? They sell this into the database, and the government allows that. Uh, Switz, I, I can still look for you, but I want to do American. Hey, I will, I will come back to you. Promise. <laughs> but if you're an American, go to these websites. And have a look. I'm not trying to promote them. I'm trying to let be, be aware so you can remove yourself from the database, if you can. <laughs> All right. It's always the first one. Is this, which one is you, sir? <laughs> really? Hey, by the way, we did not met before. Seriously. I mean, this is the best demo I ever had. <laughs> I think I sacrificed enough chicken this morning. <laughs> and you, we were worrying, oh, what is if the demo doesn't work? You know, we were trying to create fake accounts, this and the just in case, you know. <laughs> but I didn't done any of those. Hey, first hit. Uh, do you want me to show you more? <laughs> not your fault, by the way. You did nothing for that. It's not your fault at all. Here we go. I guess you are the first one again. Yeah, you are not this time. Uh, just an example. Let's get this gentleman here. Uh, this used to be free, not anymore. You can log in with Facebook. Look at this. You can log in with Facebook to get this information. <laughs> I love it. Uh, social searcher. Let's do this as well. He was saying you can't find me this morning. I did. <laughs> Is she your friend in Google Plus? All right, you know, at least you are not that famous here. I'm happy to hear that. Uh, I guess this is you. There's three people named in the US with the same name. YouTube, this and that, you know. I, I can move on. I think you got the message. So. Seriously, oh, huh? that's not nice. So, I'm going to come back to you. I don't forget it. So, this is information in Facebook. What about information in YouTube? It's not different, right? There are so many stuff in YouTube going on. Or collect information in LinkedIn? Yeah, I do. Something with LinkedIn. Yeah. Huh? LinkedIn is always trying to help you find new links. And I think that's the most embarrassing feature of LinkedIn. When you try to find a new friend, they tell you, well, we can help you. 
Just give me access to your address book, then I can invite all your contacts. It asks you for permission to sing your contacts. Like Angry Birds, by the way. So you will just ask a service to take all the contacts in your address book and approach them for you? I won't do that. Is there anyone here who does that? Twitter information, all the technical details about Twitter. Again, uh, seriously, I can talk about this, but it's, that's not my aim today. Level 200, easy talking. You had enough PowerPoints. I, you know, it's not about PowerPoints as well. I want you to get the message. And if you understanding me, I'm happy. It's not about getting the best feedback. It's not about, OK, scaring you. Uh, <laughs> It is a bit about scaring you, but not for you to disconnect. It's too late anyway. Except you, sir. <laughs> All right, but uh, we're going to move on. So social media has become a huge part of our lives, right? Here's another demo. Can I get your badge now? Maltigo. You are hard to find, I guess. Otherwise, you wouldn't be that proud to give your name. I don't know. Uh, it looks like my lucky day. It might work. It might. Uh, yeah, but it's really tough in a limited time. See? It doesn't want to start up. It does working this morning. <laughs> and while this is loading up, do you have anything to say, my friends? No? This doesn't want to start up. Uh, it doesn't matter. Check it later. Uh, what this Maltigo does, OK? It's free to you. While he's talking, I'm going to fix it. But <laughs> let, me, let me tell you what it does. Let's say you like, uh, you like my page, which is not public. So let's say you have a, your in, you know, you can choose your username. Let's say you didn't choose your username in Facebook. It's numbers, huge numbers. And you totally locked down. The vulnerability here is it looks for your publicly available information, such as you like Michael Jackson's page. And I know that. I'm going to focus my search based on your name with Michael Jackson. Guess what? Boom. I'm going to do it hopefully shortly. It will tell, it, it, it's finding it. It's like the other websites which shows all the details. And it's free to use, Maltigo. Uh, that's another software. If you believe you are safe, I'm not. I, I mean, I did download it. I can just fire it up. It takes lots of time. Look, it goes to Facebook. Hey, look at my security. I blew the f number one, but not top. <laughs> Uh, look, loading user profile ID, six to so it's not even a name. It's a forensic software. It downloads everything and anything about you. I mean, uh, I really wanted to do a live demo. Uh, if I show you my data, you're not going to be happy. So please go try it yourself. <laughs> because it takes some time to do that, by the way. It's not that fast. But you got the idea, right? Oh, you want to take photo? Take. But this slide's going to be available right after the session. Right now, uh, probably as soon as I finish, it's going to be available for you to download. Facebook Blaster Pro. Be careful. There are too many fake ones, so don't get a virus. <laughs> OK? Um, it, it, you can blast any, like, if there is, you are a pretty woman. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure you receive lots of uh, friend requests from arguments, like my, myself. You do, right? <laughs> Sometimes, and sometimes it annoys you. You can just get the software, put, find their name, and send them one million requests. Yes, it does work, still. Or it has so many other functions. It does work, huh? Yeah, it does. I wouldn't claim that I'm an attractive man, but I do get invites once in a while. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to let your wife listen to that. <laughs> All right, one of us. I'm not going to tell who. You registered to the session are living in this address. I highlight, I try to hide it as much as I can. <laughs> Some of you sit, I, I, I assume that he or she is still here. It's a he, by the way. 
uh, one of you is living in this address. How do I get this information? Thanks for checking in, for being at home. I can just go to Bingo without B-I-N-G, to Bingo, OK? And I can just put this geolocation information. It shows me exactly where you live, exactly. And I can go to the satellite and see where you are. There is another software here called Immersion. You know what you can do? You can just download and log in with your Facebook, Google, Gmail. And this is an old screenshot. screenshot. You can just log in to this software with your Gmail account, for example. It tells you when you did log in. And all this information, which usually Google or Microsoft or any other free ISPs doesn't give you. So why is that important to know? I'm pretty sure you are aware that most of the employees or hiring agencies, they ask to, your, to be your friends on Facebook, or it's, it was in the news so many times. They ask you to log into your Facebook while they're sitting next to you, and they browse with you together. So if you're sending too many emails during work hours, you thought you were not an exchange. This information can be easily got out, and it's part of university project. Immersion Media Mid. Edu. Edu. What? EDU. Education. Edu. <laughs> I couldn't get it out. So, we seriously don't know. We don't know who is who, what is doing what. And, and, it's really important to, because we humans like to trust. I mean, I can do a social engineering attack right now here. Uh, I, I think you trust me now a little bit. I can just, uh, I had this badge, for example. I could just get one of the scanners, scan the gentleman, as you did downstairs, get his phone number, get his technical email address, by just getting his badge. I hadn't done it with yours, but I don't. So, do you want me to give you a phone number? I don't, it's recorded, I'm not, but, you know, you trusted me, you gave me your badge, boom, I got the information. And what is the most important thing about you? Your information. Uh, OK, can I get a Google phone, please, or iPhone? Anybody? Live, come on. I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> uh, I brought one. Because every time I do this session, nobody trusts me anymore. Here's a Google phone. By the, OK? So I go to settings. If you have phone, please follow me. Settings. Go to general, secure uh, backup. So at backup, when you untick it, it says, are you sure you want to stop backup your Wi-Fi information, <coughs> Wi-Fi password? Hey, my Wi-Fi password, my bookmarks, who cares? Um, sir, how are you, Luke? <laughs> Uh, do you got some bank account? Yeah? Do you got some money in the account? Do you, do you mind telling us how much money you got? No. Why not? He said no, by the way. Why not? I thought you can trust me. I'm a doctor in information security. Uh, you can bingle me. You know, I'm quite famous in this area. You don't trust me? <laughs> OK. Ma'am, what's your religion? I'm Christian. Christian? Oh, OK. Uh, when did you went last time to church? All right, you don't want to share it with me, right? You don't want to share it with me. But you use an iPhone. Yeah, I'm going to get your iPhone in a second. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so that bookmark information says also, Google is also storing your application data. So you didn't tell me how much money you got, but you are telling Google. Yeah, you can trust Google more than me. <laughs> they're, selling you, they're selling your information, not me. All right, ma'am, can I get the iPhone, please? I don't have an iPhone. Indeed. Just, I'm going to do it in front of you. I'm not going to look at your pictures. <laughs> Anybody, please, iPhone, share it with me. Thank you, sir. All right, can you log in, please? <laughs> oh, look at this. Fingerprint, I can do that. So, out of topic, by the way, you scan your fingerprint. So, what is the most important thing in your body which I can't see? DNA. DNA, yeah, okay. Uh, much easier, low level, your fingerprint, right? 
So now you shared your fingerprint with Google, Apple. So what is if I found your phone, or I steal your phone? Extract the data with oxygen forensics, for example. You use a 3D printer, with, and I get your fingerprint. And go kill this gentleman here, because he has more hair than me. <laughs> so I use that 3D synthetic fingerprint. Who is the police going to catch? Mm, thank you for sharing. By the way, you use an iPhone. Hey, it's cool. Yes, it's cool. It does the job. Let's go to settings. Let's go to two, two, two. Hey, did they change it again? <laughs> <laughs> Privacy. Let's go to advertising. Look at this. Limit ad tracking. So they're tracking you for your ads. You didn't just pay extra money for Apple to buy an iPhone, and you didn't just line up. They're also tracking you for your ads. And you can only turn it on and make it limited. So something useful for you. So what I'm trying to say is they're watching you. People, companies are watching you. Sometimes you give your data voluntarily. Sometimes they get your data without you knowing. And they sell it. And as a result, someone is making lots of money or you getting exposed. So please, next time when you buy a phone, make sure you go through all the settings. And we have Hassan, for example, he shows really cool stuff. Or Raymond, he has lots of, uh, I got Ahmed Nabil here. Uh, many other good speakers I can see in the room. Watch these sessions and try to implement it in real life because not just social media websites, it's our privacy is getting violated and we are all in danger. This is currently in the news in the Netherlands. As you look, if you look at Facebook, Google, what all those companies are doing, they are collecting information about us. And we are not always in control about what they are doing with this information. The American law allows um, lots of this. European law is in the making. And what you see is that European governments are thinking about what to do about these large companies that collect all this information about our citizens. So it's Facebook, it's Google, they're watching what they're doing, and they're trying to limit their possibilities about what information they collect about us and what they are doing with it. Facebook is having issues with it. Google is having issues with it. Google just got fined. By the way, please don't forget to tweet. <laughs> don't forget your free. Uh, this, is, this is serious. Uh, I got 10,000 antivirus to give away, so take it all away. All so, right. Is, are we in the end of privacy era? Era, not error. So people are tracking us, right? Privacy is getting harder and harder to control. In Facebook, we have only a few options. Now, to be very honest, you said sometimes you receive friend requests. Uh, let's say I send you friend requests. And let's say you accepted it. Are you, do you have any special groups that you put me in, such as a uh, limited profile? Uh, come, come on, you know me now. <laughs> hey, I've done all the sessions for you, actually. <laughs> now you're saying no. Uh, you know, you said, remember, it's occasionally you do accept. So, you know. Yeah, okay, okay. Just an example. It's not, remember, it's not about you. It's about to give you the idea. Well, one thing about Facebook in this is, if any of you using Facebook Messenger? So Facebook forced us to use a separate application app on our phones to start doing chatting in Facebook. You know what the default option there is for your location in Messenger? Share. So the default, if you don't do anything, you install Facebook Messenger and you start talking to someone over Facebook, this person on the other side immediately knows where you are. And I only found out by, by accident when I started sending a message to a friend and she said, are you home? Oh, no, I see it. You're in Rotterdam now. I was like, how do you know? I was sharing this information because the default option is share it. 
So most of the time when you join one of these social networks, the first thing you have to do is go through all the options. And not just when you're registering with the service, also each time you install a new app. The app may contain its own privacy settings that are not on the website. Question? He said, so, oh, are you going to repeat, repeat? So some of those apps do also inventory what other apps you have and how you use them to collect this information and send it to the service. And probably you skip through the agreement in the beginning. Do you accept how we collect information about you? You say yes, of course. You say yes, otherwise you are unable to use the app. And then things like this just happen to you. All right. So it's really making it easy to get tracked, even for him. Who? Do you know this guy? Even he can be tracked. His, thanks to a bug on Facebook, all his personal pictures, which was hidden by us, was exposed. Thank you. At least we know what he's doing in his private time. By the way, he's a smart guy. I have nothing against him. Um, we all know Governments, you know, every year they request some information from Facebook. To be honest, most of the time, I don't mind. It's for our favor, most of the time. But there are some occasions, government has nothing to do with my Facebook. But again, if you don't want to be tracked, two options. A, don't do something bad. Or B, don't be online. Simple. Don't share. Uh, if you're online, you're going to share regardless. Because... Because it's not up to you. You play Angry Birds. Yes? It sends location information. Not you, your kid, your uh, nephew, your friend. You know, remember? You are here to help me to pass the message. So you might be liable on what you post. Microsoft employee fired to, for making a tweet about upcoming Windows Phone Nokia device. Or arrested on Twitter. Eight tweets that got people busted. You know. If you think this is old news, just check the news. A bug in Facebook allows even Mark to come back to be uh, exposed. You had an example for that? For, for this? You are liable on what you post? Well, yes. Just today I received a newsletter <laughs> saying five ways to ruin your career using social media. And it's just too easy to say something on social media that will just ruin your chances for a new job. Because you tweeted about your ex-boss, or you tweeted or you used Facebook to complain about the, the, the market and that there is no job for you. Or you said something about somebody that you were working with and that happens to be the one to provide you work now. There, it's just too easy to cause damage in those cases. Here's another question. Please be very honest. Who is, okay, who is not checking their Facebook every one hour? Who is not? Every, every day? Every week? I don't know if you notice the hands. For the ones they listening to this session, please be honest to yourself as well. We all do. And, it is now an addiction, like smoking. You need to go out and smoke and come back. When you wake up, I bet, even the ones they said, you know, you do check your Facebook because your phone is keep uh, buzzing on your phone. Or now you've got that beautiful application in your Microsoft Bank which comes Bluetooth, via Bluetooth to your arm. If not you. So who said I don't have social media? Again, who was it? He's sleeping, I think. He left. Am I that boring? <laughs> uh, no? Sir, you don't have any social media accounts? No? Your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend? Yeah? Uh, do you have a photo together? You are on social media. <laughs> <laughs> what if, if I tell you, hey, uh, I told you already, uh, tweet about the session, get a free antivirus. This is true, I'm not kidding, nobody believes me anymore. <laughs> But what if, if I tell you, I'm friend 10 people 
and you get a free vapa. <laughs> the trick here is, Burger King is sending an email to that 10 friends saying, you know what? You are less valuable than a, a whopper. <laughs> Guess what? This information fired back. They had to cancel the campaign. You don't believe me? Please search it up. <laughs> so it is really, really, really coming into an era where look at the movies. Most of the time, the bad guys. They talk on a the phone, they throw it away. Or the question here is, why? Why banks are giving us easier credit cards? Hassan, my brother, the wolf. Why the banks? Look, compared to, you would not remember, but you will remember. What, compared to 10 years ago, why banks are giving us credit card much easier? Why they don't want us to use cash anymore? What about all this facial technology that detects all our faces? What about the cameras in the street? What about uh, airport security? We are all trapped, like it or not. I love my privacy. I love to be myself. Look, yes, I don't mind the bad guy to be caught because he stole my... Windows phone, it's not a uh, it's Microsoft conference. He stole my Windows phone, which I want to sell. No, no. <laughs> he stole my Windows phone. I want him to be in jail. But what about if someone doesn't like you and your data got, goes in the wrong hands? This applies to them as well. So your mobile phone, we all have one. Even you, sir. You are not in social media. It tells exactly where you are, exactly. In the meantime, a huge Boeing airline disappeared and nobody knows where it is. I don't know if you see the contradiction. They know exactly where you are, but they couldn't find that Boeing airplane. Who? Boeing? What do you think what the issue was? Ah, you are from Boeing. Who was from Boeing? You? Ah, yeah, you, sir. What do you think the issue was? Uh, yeah, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? Did you enjoy it so far? Seriously. I mean, it was all about awareness. <laughs> Any questions? We still got some time. I have three or more slides. Yes, sir. Maybe I get the microphone to you. We still have some slides. Don't go. Hold on. Uh, I'm not sure which of you had mentioned it, but you almost said, well, it's too late because everything is out there. So this was really good in terms of all the things that people can do to find the information, but how do we do a better job of hiding it, or is it too late for that as well? Thank you. Excellent question, Gary. A, it's late. B, I already said some mitigation methods. If you're going to accept me as a friend, no problem, do so. But create some groups, and when you share next time, Make sure that you know, only your real friends can see that, not friends of friends, or not people in a limited profile. Or even better, if you don't want only limited people to see, SMS it to them. Even though they can put it on Facebook. <laughs> you, know, uh, you better don't share it. Remember German saying, if one information is known by two people, it's not a secret anymore? So we all like more likes. I got a beautiful page. Please go ahead and like it. <laughs> I thought this was going to be funny. If not, like Raymond's one, OK? So I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you very much for coming. Was it good? <laughs>